Right now on Good Morning Northwest, a long-term construction project in Yakima meant to help small business owners is having the opposite effect in the short term. And the Tri-Cities biggest event of the year is looking for partners following the loss of one of its major sponsors. And conditions have cleared from yesterday's windy, slightly rainy day. Plus temperatures are on their way up. Stick around, we'll have your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Delal. And I'm Riley Fitzgerald, filling in for Tiffany Savona this morning. And Riley, <laughs> it is 5 a.m. right now on Wednesday, March 13th. We are halfway through the work week, hump day, <laughs> some like to call it. Yes. <laughs> and it's good weather, hopefully, we're going to get. It is good weather, okay. better than yesterday. So not as breezy, not as breezy, even I, though I think of breezy as easy, but it wasn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was driving home yesterday uh -huh. and I kind of had that like had to hold on to the steering oh, wheel a little tighter. Two hands on the cause, wheel because there was some wind out there. Do you like there. to usually one hand it? No, <laughs> do you sometimes, sometimes if the music's good and I'm kind of you know, yeah, cruising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, let's take a live look outside right now in Richland through the Columbia Point Sky Cam. It is so dark outside. I wish our mornings were lighter, but that is a okay. Let's take a look at what's ahead. We have got clear skies on the way for today. Once these clouds go away, the skies will start to make their way out a little bit more. We've also got lighter wind than we had yesterday, so definitely not as much. We're going to be seeing some more in the Kittitas Valley, but otherwise pretty calm winds and temperatures are on the rise, so we're all looking forward to that. On our first alert radar, we're seeing not a lot of action, a little bit of snow in the blues, but otherwise we're looking dry out there. Let's take a look at our temperatures right now, mostly in the upper 30s. We see 38 in Walla Walla, 35 in Tri-Cities, but 28 in Yakima, so still pretty cool. Temperatures will be on their way up. Winds are a lot lower than they saw, we saw yesterday, but they are settling. Let's take a look at our daily planner, 56 later today in Yakima. In the Tri-Cities, we're seeing upper 50s, lower 60s for today, and Walla Walla is seeing the lower 50s for today. I'll have more about these beautiful conditions coming up, but for now, I'll send it to Jessica. Thank you, Riley, and we have an update now. Washington State Patrol has released the name of the person who died yesterday morning after being hit by a car on I-182. 16-year-old Ethan Vargas of Kennewick died after he crossed the westbound lanes of I-182 just before 4 a.m. The driver who hit Vargas stopped at the scene and called for help. The circumstances surrounding the crash remain under investigation. At this time, there are no charges pending, and authorities said drugs or alcohol were not factors in the crash. And you may have noticed a bit more congestion during your commute over the Blue Bridge. The closure began yesterday morning, and it will remain closed from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. through Saturday, March 16th. Drivers will also notice a speed reduction. A southbound single lane closure over the bridge will also be in place during those same hours, also running through Saturday. And this is part of the work to repaint the Blue Bridge. In Yakima, the North First Street Revitalization Project is aimed at fixing critical infrastructure issues and making the area more friendly to pedestrians, something that City of Yakima officials said will help businesses in the long run. But business owners are saying that the project is hurting them right now. The owners of six local businesses say their regular customers come by because it's convenient for them. But with traffic slowed down due to construction, it's not so convenient anymore. Many drivers avoid North First Street whenever possible, meaning nearby businesses have all lost at least 50% of their business in the past month. With the project expected to last a year and a half and over a year spent working on the roads, they're not sure if they can make it. We're just asking the city to see how they are able to help us as well. Uh, because it's not just tough for just one person here. It's not tough. Hey, it's impacting two people. It's impacting hundreds of people, their livelihoods. Later on Good Morning Northwest, we'll hear what the city of Yakima has to say about the project and what they plan to do about how it's hurting businesses. The Yakima Parks and Recreation Commission is asking for people's opinion on whether or not to add a playground to Gilbert Park. Park officials said a woman who lives in the area approached the commission a couple of months ago to ask about the possibility of adding a playground for her young children. They sent out about 200 letters to neighbors in order to gauge interest, but there's already one barrier to adding a playground. The initial deed from when the Gilbert family signed over the property to the city 
so the property should not be used primarily for a children's playground. The Gilbert family has agreed that it'd be okay to change the deed if that needs to happen. Some more legal uh, you know, in information will have to be sought from that uh, to see if that's a possibility or not. Park officials will be going over the responses from neighbors and accepting public comment at the Parks Commission meeting, and that's tonight at 5.30 p.m. at City Hall. And the Governor's Smart Communities Award presentation took place at the Clover Island Lighthouse Plaza in Kennewick yesterday. The Port of Kennewick and its partners won the Smart Partnerships category for their multi-year project to restore and revitalize Clover Island, beginning with the blessing from the Confederated Tribes of the Umatilla Indian Nation. A representative from the governor's office presented the awards to Clover Island's landowner, as well as the Port of Kennewick and their partners. We're celebrating something that took a long time. In the late 1990s, early 2000s, thoughts began about the connection of the Columbia River or the downtown Kennewick area to the Columbia River. Even when it's windy, we get all four seasons of the year from the best to the worst. And that's why we love living here. So there's even appreciation in today. God bless. In my life, I was able to uh, work multiple resources. I worked 28 years of that. One of my first jobs that I had was working here on Clover Island and watching them dig up this road and tear up this parking lot and to see what it is here today from being able to start with the groundwork up to what it is today. I'm really proud and happy for all of the partners that have been able to get this done. The port first started looking for funding partners in 2008 to help transform the island's eroding concrete covered shoreline into a brand new habitat. And the Tri-City Water Follies Association says they've been suffering financial losses since 2020 and they're in need of securing sponsors in order to keep the 59-year event alive. The three-day event is the largest tourism and sporting event in eastern Washington, contributing around $2.7 million to the Tri-City's economy. It's scheduled for July 26th through the 28th, and officials say title sponsorship for the hydroplane races is critical for the continuation of the event. For the second year in a row, STCU is serving as a sponsor for the Over the River Air Show. Former title sponsor Hapo recently ended their contract with the show. We'll continue doing it one way or another, um, but at the same time it would help us if we had some more support from some companies in the the community even even if it's just a little support you know that we have lots of opportunities for sponsorship you know and you know hey one person wanting to donate you know ten two hundred thousand dollars is great ten people want to donate twenty thousand dollars is great however we can get to a number that helps us continue what we've been doing without having to cut back you know and we had to raise uh, ticket prices last year raise them a little bit here and there this year we're trying to not raise ticket prices the Tri-City Water Follies offering other sponsorships as well. Officials say a sponsorship could offer exposure to an average of 50,000 attendees. And Riley Fitzgerald is here with an early look at your forecast. Hey, Riley. Okay. Our conditions from yesterday are clearing up. It's looking beautiful heading into our weekend. Lower winds, no showers, clear skies. I'll have more coming up. And amid the rise of ADHD diagnosis in adults recently, a new study links treating ADHD patients with medication to a lower risk of death overall. And we'll be back with that and more headlines right after this. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful custom arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique, and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. 
If you're hurt at work, your life can go into a downward spiral. You're injured. You can't work. Your bills are piling up. But winning workers' comp benefits isn't easy. You're the underdog. We'll fight labor and industries to get you the workers' compensation benefits you deserve. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411 for a free consultation. Bothwell and Hamill. So, all of us are here to talk about trading. Right now at US Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. Trade you my PB&J for that phone. No kid, you don't have to trade. See, $830 off any phone at US Cellular. No trade-in needed. You drive a hard bargain. Boom, chocolate milk. You don't have to trade. I'll take the chocolate milk. Okay. Get $830 off any phone. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under-eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally-based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10-minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get zero down zero percent apr for 84 months or up to twenty eight hundred dollars off select kubota tractors find a kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In health news this morning, people with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder are at increased risk for premature death. But a large study out of Sweden suggests treating the disorder with medication can help reduce the overall mortality risk for patients. Researchers identified nearly 150,000 people diagnosed with ADHD between 2007 and 2018, tracking death within two years of diagnosis. They found a 19% decrease in the two-year mortality rate for those who got ADHD medication. Treatment with medication especially reduced the risk of death from unnatural causes such as accidental injury, suicide, and accidental drug overdose, particularly among men. And experts say the report emphasizes the importance of timely ADHD diagnoses. It's also an important reminder for health care providers to discuss with patients who are deciding how to manage their condition. And the study was published Tuesday in the journal JAMA. And up next on Good Morning Northwest, inflation-weary Americans got some relief from the supermarket and medical bills. As President Biden touted Tuesday's inflation report, how it could affect your wallet coming up. And looking outside, temperature is 35 degrees, a little colder this time than it was yesterday. Riley Fitzgerald will have more details in that first alertful forecast. That is right when we come back. Hello, Shelby. Hello, Mariano. Upload Mrs. Robinson's case. Processing. Is there any new information? The insurance offer is too low. Should I ask for more? You know, when they hear from the heavy hitter, they'll pay much more. The heavy hitter is the one for you. Call 853 It's the wall-to-wall -wall sale at Furniture Row. And that means every sofa, dining table, and bed is on sale. Find sofas with clean contemporary styling. To laid back premium comfort. Dining tables with rustic farmhouse charm to sophisticated polished marble tops, beds with retro industrial style, and two-tone cottage charm. Save up to 50% on select Temper Adapt mattresses, plus five years no interest financing. Shop today and save during the wall-to-wall -wall sale, only at Furniture Row. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Survival rates for people with colon cancer can be as high as 90% with early detection. Get more at applevalleynewsnow.com. 
Prosser Digestive Health Center at Prosser Memorial Health reminds us that colon cancer screening saves lives. This is how we care. Spring is in the air and creativity is blooming everywhere. At Custer's 25th Annual Spring Arts and Craft Show this weekend at the Hapo Center in Pasco. Join us as 150 artisans from across the Northwest display and sell their fine art, handcraft, and specialty foods. The variety and quality of work make this a must-see event. Single day admission, only $8. Tickets on sale now at CusterShows.com. Custer's Spring Arts and Craft Show this weekend at the Hapo Center in Pasco. The average cost of hearing aids is nearly $5,000, but now you can buy a full pair of rechargeable, wireless, nearly invisible, easy to use, and comfortable hearing devices for only $99, but only from Audion. It's easy to use. They're small. A pair of $99 Audion Atoms can be sold over the phone without having to see a doctor or audiologist. Call to order. 1-800-617-3809. Welcome to Premier Woodworks, your premier source for custom cabinetry and full-service interior design. Our custom designs are brought to life with 3D images to help you visualize the final result. Our high-quality cabinetry is crafted with care and attention to detail. From kitchen and bath design to remodel project management, we're here to make your dream space a reality. Premier Woodworks, located at 109 North Washington Street in Kennewick. Hello, Shelby. Hello, Mariano. Upload Mrs. Robinson's case. Processing. Is there any new information? The insurance offer is too low. Should I ask for more? You know, when they hear from the heavy hitter, they'll pay much more. The heavy hitter is the one for you. Call 853-2222. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Riley Fitzgerald. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Live look outside is a little cooler than it was this time yesterday, so let's get straight into it. Clearer skies today. As the day goes on, the skies will start to clear. We have lighter wind than yesterday, and the temps are going to keep rising as we get a little bit later on into the week. A little bit of uh, snow activity down in the Blue Mountains today, but otherwise, we are looking pretty clear so far this morning. On our future cast, skies continue to get clear. A lot of those clouds start to go away by tonight. Very clear skies and heading into tomorrow. We're just looking quite clear over the next couple of days. So lots of sun is going to be making its way out to hang out with us for the next couple of days. Let's take a look at our wind speeds right now. They're still settling down a little bit. Tri-Cities low winds. Walla Walla we're seeing in the teens. Yakima, Ellensburg, we are later today going to be seeing some wind gusts in the Kittitas Valley, but otherwise we're staying pretty light on our winds, a lot lighter than we saw yesterday, so not too bad for our wind forecast for today. So let's take a look at our temperatures right now. We're cooler than we were this time yesterday, 38 in Walla Walla this morning, 35 in the Tri-Cities, 28, so below freezing in Yakima and Ellensburg, so a little cooler in the Yakima Valley this morning, 29 in Prosser, so a little chilly in some places, but we are gonna be warming up nicely today. So for our highs, we're seeing in the Yakima Valley, mid to upper 50s. Again, in the Kittitas County area, it's a little cooler. So 44 for Cleallum, 49 for Ellensburg. In the mid-Columbia, we're seeing mid to upper 50s and lower 60s. Tri-City, 60 degrees for our highs today. Hermiston, 56. So nice. It's getting, it's getting up there for some of us. Uh, the Blue Mountain region is going to be a little cooler for your day today, so lower 50s across the Blue Mountains. A little bit cooler than we saw yesterday, but that's okay. We're going to be warming up quite a bit tomorrow. For our temperatures tonight, we are clearing, but again, a little cool. Mostly, honestly, below freezing for a lot of us. 31 tonight in the Tri-Cities, 32 for Walla Walla, 34 Yakima. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. We are seeing beautiful conditions that are gonna be coming out to hang out with us over the next couple of days. Today, we're seeing that 59, uh, 57, but as we get into our weekend, we are seeing 60. So 65, 69 for our weekend, and then 70 degrees Monday, Tuesday. So that's fantastic to see. Overnight lows are picking up as the week goes on and into our weekend, we're hitting 40s for our overnight lows. That'll be great to see. Let's take a look at our uh, seven day forecast for the Tri-Cities. We're seeing 60s for today and tomorrow. 
um, and into our weekend those temperatures continue we're seeing 70s on the way for monday and tuesday next week and all of this sun is going to make for some awesome conditions if i still had my convertible i would have i would be putting the top down but i no longer have that car our overnight lows are on the way up as well from the 30s to the 40s and let's take a look in the seven day forecast for walla walla once we get these clouds out of the way sun is out and the temperatures start to rise looking forward to beautiful conditions again today we have great conditions skies clearing up uh, no uh, rain have a fantastic wednesday i'll send it back to jessica thank you riley and now to some money news we have good news and bad news regarding inflation bad news first some prices at the grocery store are up good news is others are down here's abc's andrea fuji with more Applause on Wall Street as the S&P 500 hit a record high yesterday. Investors shrugging off a new report that finds inflation once again rose last month. Consumer prices were up 3.2 percent from a year ago, slightly above what was expected, and Americans are noticing. I love Honeycrisp, but eight, nine dollars for a bag of apples? Nah, that's not good. The main culprits keeping prices high? Gas rose 3.8 percent, rent rose 0.4 percent, clothing up 0.6 percent. Grocery prices overall were flat last month, but cereal and egg prices rose again with eggs up nearly 6 percent. I'm living paycheck to paycheck because it's so hard really to save. President Biden touted Tuesday's inflation report, saying my top economic priority is lowering costs and we continue to make progress. If inflation is going down, that's great, but I have not seen any of my bills get cheaper. It does not feel like it's gotten better. Some good news in the furniture industry. Costs are coming down. IKEA now says it's cutting prices. IKEA is reducing the pricing on a lot of their products due to the fact that global inflation is coming down and the company is now investing a lot in infrastructure and supply chain which will further reduce the prices on their most popular products. Furniture costs have dropped 4% in the last year, but with overall inflation ticking up slightly, don't expect the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates before summer at the earliest. And when we return on Good Morning Northwest, it's the latest buzz on social media. Many people are trying to buy a, trader's, a Trader Joe's tote bag that sold out at stores and the asking price from resellers online is about 200 times the original price. Find amazing deals store-wide during the wall-to-wall -wall sale at Furniture Row. Every sofa, dining table, and bed is on sale. Plus five years, no interest. Shop today and save during the wall-to-wall -wall sale only at Furniture Row. Hello, Shelby. Hello, Mariano. Upload Mrs. Robinson's case. Processing. Is there any new information? The record shows no driver at fault. However, we found footage which shows the other driver caused the wreck. Nice job. What's the insurance company's offer? You know it's too low. Should I ask them for more? Thanks, Shelby. But you know when they hear from the heavy hitter, they'll pay much more. The heavy hitter is one for you. Call 853 Injured in a car wreck? Call the heavy hitter, attorney Mariano Morales. For years, Washington Realtors embraced some of the most consumer-friendly practices in the nation, putting fairness and transparency at the heart of the home buying process, providing clients with the duties of their real estate broker in the transaction, along with a written agreement explaining the cost of brokerage services and receiving and signing this agreement up front. Now, these principles are not just industry standard, they're state law. Transparency in Real Estate, brought to you by Washington Realtors. Is your broker a realtor? How does free college or career training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant is one of the most generous financial aid programs in the country. Eligible Washington residents can get free money for certificate programs, job training, 
apprenticeships, or college. You can go full-time or part-time, so you can work and continue your education at the same time. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. Oh my gosh, wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95 plus get free shipping. Visit PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Say no to middleman mattress Marco Malays and yes to factory direct savings at Denver Mattress. And during the March mattress, sale get the summit for only 332.49 plus five years no interest and free shipping denver mattress the easiest way to get the right mattress stacy lee she's on your side apple valley news now first alert weather welcome back to good morning northwest fans of trader joe's are now scouring the internet hoping they can get their hands on a tj tote bag so the popular item, the new IT uh, item, was sold in stores recently and shoppers are quickly buying them up. The price was right, a tote only cost $2.99, but people are still clamoring for the tote in places where they are sold out. So they have turned to social media for help. Resellers are making quite the profit. They're selling the bags on eBay and Facebook Marketplace and cashing in. Some totes reportedly are selling from five to $500. Folks who don't want to spend that much will have to wait. Trader Joe says it expects to sell more of these totes, but a new shipment won't arrive until September. Well, coming up on Good Morning Northwest, Congress is expected to make a major vote today that could decide the future of popular social media app TikTok in the U.S. And there's been another Ukraine military aid package announced by the Biden administration, this one worth up to $300 million. In today's Tech Bites, free tax filing from the IRS. The Internal Revenue Service has launched Direct File. The free online tool is designed for taxpayers with very basic returns, and they go directly to the IRS. The pilot program is available in 12 states. Motorola just unveiled its latest budget-friendly phones. The sleek new design includes a vegan leather back panel, a built-in headphone jack, and wireless charging. The Moto G Power and the Moto G 5G will arrive next week with the cheaper model starting as low as $199. Finally, a major update could be on the way for Ray-Ban's Meta Sunglasses. A new beta version can identify landmarks and actually tells the person wearing the glasses more about the landmark. Mark Zuckerberg demonstrated the glasses at Yellowstone National Park, but no word on when they could be widely available. Those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, and systemic diarrhea. Your shipping manager left to find themselves, leaving you lost. You need to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Indeed Instant Match instantly delivers quality candidates matching your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash hire. Right now on Good Morning Northwest, the popular social media app TikTok, whose China-based parent company officials say is a national security threat, the issue will be in Congress's crosshairs today. And the Biden administration announced another package of military aid to Ukraine after warnings from the Pentagon that there wasn't any money left. And conditions have cleared from yesterday's windy, slightly rainy day, plus temperatures are on their way back up Stick around, we'll have your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. 
Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica DeLal. And I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And it is 529 on Wednesday, March 13th. We are halfway through the work week. I'm excited. It's hump day. And Riley, it's looking like it's going to be a good sunny day. It Let's is going to be a sunny day. Once these clouds go away, mm -hmm. the sun will come up. It's going to be a great day to get out, and so is, I think, the rest of the week. Ooh. So if you're it's not going to be as windy as yesterday, right? Definitely not unless you're in the Kittitas Valley. So mm. Ellensburg, Clea Elm, it's going to be a little windy there, but otherwise it's looking great. I would love to get outside this weekend. Me so. too. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe not today because I'll probably be tired, but Definitely. at some point. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a live look outside right now in Richland through the Columbia Point Sky Cam. We are going to be seeing uh, clearer skies. As we said, let's take a look ahead. Clear skies, lighter wind, and the temperatures are just going to keep rising. So today we're in the 50s and potentially 60s, but we're talking, did somebody say 70s? I did. <laughs> let's take a look at what's ahead. We've got our on our first alert radar, there were some uh, some snow showers happening in the Blue Mountain region, but those are kind of out of the way and otherwise we're staying pretty clear this morning. On our temperatures, we're seeing 30s, some 20s, but we are going to be warming up. So Yakima 28, Ellensburg 33, Tri-Cities 35, Walla Walla 38. So we are going to be warming up. Definitely looking forward to that. As I said, wind speeds are lowering over the next little bit. Um, they are kind of staying up in the Kittitas Valley. So be aware of some breezy conditions on our daily planner. Mid 50s for Yakima, upper 50s for the Tri-Cities and in the Walla Walla area, lower 50s today. I'll tell you more about how warm it's going to get coming up in my full forecast. Thank you, Riley. And now to a big vote in the House this morning on whether to put the immensely popular social media app TikTok on the chopping block. Lawmakers are threatening to ban the China-based app in the U.S. due to rising concerns about data security and foreign influence. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest. This morning, the U.S. House is poised to pass a bill that could ban the wildly popular social media app TikTok. The bill would require the app's Chinese parent company, ByteDance, to sever ties with the app within six months or risk getting blocked on app stores and websites across the country. You also have to shut down the website associated with the app to prevent its functionality, but the bill remains narrowly focused on social media apps tied to four adversary countries. That's it. China's Select Committee Chairman Mike Gallagher echoes FBI Director for Christopher Wray, who testified before Congress this week saying the Beijing-based app poses a threat to national security and warned TikTok could be used to spy on Americans and possibly influence the election. And the ability to conduct influence operations, that is extraordinarily difficult to you detect. Can't tell. To detect, and that's what makes tell. it such a pernicious risk. But the presumptive GOP presidential nominee, Donald Trump, who spearheaded efforts to ban the app when he was in office, is reversing course, opposing the bill. There are a lot of uh, users. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of good and there's a lot of bad with TikTok. But the thing I don't like is that without TikTok, you can make Facebook bigger. And I consider Facebook to be an enemy of the people. The company TikTok says a ban would trample the First Amendment rights of 170 million Americans. Banning TikTok also means taking away a voice and a platform for communities of color and queer creators that have made TikTok their home. Still, Trump's opposition is doing little to deter most House Republicans, and the bill is expected to pass the chamber with bipartisan support, but it faces an uncertain future in the Senate. And the Biden administration announced a new military aid package for Ukraine yesterday. The package is worth up to $300 million and includes artillery ammunition, anti-aircraft missiles, and anti-armor systems. The last time the U.S. sent a military aid package to Ukraine was in December. At the time, the Pentagon warned Congress there was no more money left for security assistance. However, a senior defense official says additional funding became available as a result of savings made in weapons contracts. But an official says this is not a sustainable long-term solution and Congress will need to pass a supplemental spending bill that includes aid for Ukraine. And the measure was already passed by the Senate, but Republican leadership in the House has refused to bring the bill for a vote. And CNN projects former President Donald Trump has earned enough delegates to secure the Republican presidential nomination. 
An allocation of delegates from the Washington state primary win yesterday allows Trump to reach the 1,215 mark necessary to become his party's presumptive nominee. Trump won't become the official GOP presidential nominee until the Republican National Convention, and that'll take place in Milwaukee this July. And Riley Fitzgerald is here now with an early look at your forecast. Hey, Riley. Hi, Jessica. Our conditions from yesterday are clearing up. It's looking beautiful heading into our weekend, especially lower winds, no showers, clear skies. More is coming up. And the Adams County Pet Rescue is dealing with a major loss of funding. We'll tell you what led to it coming up. Mr. Box. I had this idea. Is it giving people lots of great food for $6 and letting them choose between two delicious sandwiches? Great idea, Devin. Run with it. That went well. And you run and get my $6 jackpack. Welcome to Jack in the Box. If it was my family, I'd want to make sure they get all the information they need to make the best decision. That's why we fully inspect our vehicles and certify everything. With McCurley Certified and Certified Plus, we look at everything from the tires to the maintenance records to recalls to any open campaigns. We make sure the vehicle is completely safe. The only vehicles we sell are ones that are completely inspected. McCurley Certified means your vehicle meets a higher standard. Find your way home in a Subaru Certified Pre-Owned Vehicle from McCurley Subaru. Time for a new roof? Let m and Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. On behalf of STCU, we want to present you with this $1,000 check. Joe McDonald volunteered at the Pasco Aviation Museum, and although he is gone, his dedication to the museum lives on, earning them a $1,000 check from STCU. He was very particular and did all the research, so the information that's in the display cases were, were absolutely accurate. STCU honors volunteers in our community. To nominate someone, click on Volunteers Count at applevalleynewsnow.com. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Want to do it even faster? Here we go. Oh, wow. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Wow. Still have 5G here, too. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Hey, thanks for the lift. Test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network free for 30 days. It's here, it's now, the Grand National RV Show at r, &R RV North Spokane, March 14th through the 23rd. Shop over 140 RVs inside the West Coast's largest indoor showroom. Motorhomes, camper vans, fifth wheels, and trailers. The time to buy is now. The Grand National RV Show, March 14th through the 23rd, indoors at r, &R RV North Spokane. Special show pricing, giveaways, and food vendors on site. Visit r, &R -RV .com. Oh, hey, Jack, going up? Actually, no, Justine. My famous two tacos are still just 99 cents when you order on the Jack app or online. Could you press six, please? I'm going up. Get my famous two tacos for just 99 cents, only on the Jack app or online. Hello there. Watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. The Adams County Pet Rescue in Othello is running into some changes that have to do with funding for the organization. Riley Fitzgerald joins us live in studio now. Good morning, Riley. How has the funding changed and how is the rescue responding to those changes? Good morning, Jessica. The Adams County Pet Rescue is funded by donations, grants, and formerly two government contracts to care for the animals in the county. But this last year, the ACPR didn't accept the City of Othello's offer for $75,000 to handle animal control. And at a city council meeting last month, the contract went to another nonprofit. With around 60 to 70 dogs in care and 25 to 30 cats, the Adams County Pet Rescue has a lot of paws to keep an eye on. To continue handling animal control for the city, as it has for at least the past decade, ACPR asked for a contract of $150,000 after being offered $75,000. The board was asking for more just because everything's going up. 
The rescue says the money offered, $75,000, wouldn't be enough to offset the cost of caring for the number of dogs and cats it's taken in. The amount of dogs that we got in last year from the city, um, $75,000 wouldn't cover it really. Following a recent Othello City Council meeting, that contract ended up going to another nonprofit, Hands and Paws. As a result of not being under that contract, the number of animals coming into the ACPR has decreased, giving the shelter some breathing room in the past three months. In the past year, this is the first time where we've been down to like a lower number that's not up in the hundreds. <laughs> so that's a good thing. According to the mayor and city administrator, Sean R. Logan, the city made several concessions in the later contracts offered to the rescue, including taking care of the animal pickup, dog license sales, and more. They came back with their original offer, never moved from it, and said that if we didn't give them their offer, they were going to quit taking our dogs at the end of the year. Mayor Logan called that a tremendous bind to put the city in and left the city with less than a month to come up with a solution. One manager with the Adams County Pet Rescue told me last year the rescue was at a point they almost had to close doors. I know right now we're just trying to focus on keeping ourselves um, sustainable, pretty much, where we're not having to ask for a lot of money. It's like last year we were at the point where we almost had to shut our doors. So, Why was that? Um, funding was running out. Um, also, we just had so many dogs in that the money was going out. Staff members, we have to pay for their, for them working and stuff. Um, a lot of vet bills. <laughs> Mayor Logan says the financial struggles were a concern to the city. Uh, they continued to tell us that even though they were charging us 150, their the true cost was over three hundred thousand dollars a year. So, if that was their true cost, 150 was only the interim on the way up to 300,000 a year. The city didn't want to pay 300,000. It didn't want to pay it to 150,000. It didn't want to have to build its own facility. But the city may be dishing out $400,000 to build its own animal control facility. That's up to the council in a future meeting. Mayor Logan compared it to a marriage that just didn't work out. We were in this marriage for some time. They did a great job with the animals, uh, still do a good job with the animals. And um, I'm sorry this just didn't work out between us. I don't think it needed to come to this, but apparently uh, when two sides are trying to go in a different direction, you're not willing to bend, then that's what causes divorces. I've reached out to Adams County Pet Rescue for the exact numbers on its budget breakdown so we can get the whole picture of what this loss of funding may mean for the nonprofit. The other non-contract funding comes from donations and adoptions at the rescue. We'll bring you an update when we have one right here on Apple Valley News Now. Jessica, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Riley. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, Boeing's manufacturing woes are causing a ripple effect across the industry, causing billions of dollars in lost revenue. And looking outside now, a little dark. The sun's not risen yet, but it will shortly. Riley Fitzgerald will have more in that first alert full forecast. We'll be right back. ET and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Over the years, personal injury lawyers and law firms have come and gone from our area. For over 30 years, the constant voice for our community has been from Alan Brecky Law Offices. To find out what your rights are under the law, call now. Spring is in the air and creativity is blooming everywhere at Custer's 25th Annual Spring Arts and Craft Show this weekend at the Hapo Center in Pasco. Join us as 150 artisans from across the Northwest display and sell their fine art, handcraft, and specialty foods. The variety and quality of work make this a must-see event. Single day admission, only $8. Tickets on sale now at CusterShows.com. Custer's Spring Arts and Craft Show this weekend at the Hapo Center in Pasco. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. 
Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Welcome to Premier Woodworks, your premier source for custom cabinetry and full-service interior design. Our custom designs are brought to life with 3D images to help you visualize the final result. Our high-quality cabinetry is crafted with care and attention to detail. From kitchen and bath design to remodel project management, we're here to make your dream space a reality. Premier Woodworks, located at 109 North Washington Street in Kennewick. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. Suffering from middleman mattress markup malaise? You have no idea. And ditch the distributor. And shop Factory Direct Savings at Denver Mattress instead. And during the March mattress sale, everything is on sale. Like the Summit Queen, now only $332.49. Or check out the Doctor's Choice Plush for only $759.99. Plus five years no interest and free shipping. Say no to the middleman mattress markup malaise and shop Denver Mattress today. The easiest way to get the right mattress. As much as we may not like it, life is not a spectator sport. That's why it's always disruptive when someone else's carelessness leaves us on the sidelines. Allen Brecky Law Offices helps accident injury victims. Call now. They're waiting to help you. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Riley Fitzgerald. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Live look outside right now in Richland through the Columbia Point Skycam. It's pretty cool this morning, pretty chilly. It's okay, it's gonna be getting warmer a little later on. Clear skies for your Wednesday as soon as the clouds go away. We've got some lighter wind than we saw yesterday and the temperatures are going to be rising. We're looking forward to that. On our first alert radar this morning, we did see some snow in the blues, but it has kind of made its way out. We're looking at very dry conditions over the next couple of days. On our future cast again, we see the conditions just drying up over the next day. Tonight, clear skies, dry conditions, especially into Thursday as well. Very sunny conditions over the next couple of days. Definitely a beautiful time to maybe get outside. I am looking forward to that. We had some strong winds yesterday, wind gusts from 30 to 40 miles per hour. Today, for the most part, in the blues in the mid-Columbia, we're going to be pretty uh, chill on our wind speeds. But in the Kittitas Valley, that's where we're going to be seeing some wind pick up up to 29 miles per hour uh, wind gusts again in the Kittitas Valley. So be aware of that. Again, settling down across the... Um, the mid Columbia area, but picking up in the Kittitas Valley. So mostly Pleelum and Ellensburg is where we're going to be seeing those wind gusts. So be aware of that. Maybe hold on to your hats if you're in Ellensburg today. Our temperatures right now, we're in the 30s and so even some 20s. We're seeing 28 in Prosser and Yakima, 33 in Ellensburg this morning, 35 in the Tri-Cities, 38 for Walla Walla. Let's take a look at our highs for today. We are seeing in the Kittitas area, 44 in Cleelum, 49 in Ellensburg, but in the Yakima Valley, mostly mid to upper 50s for your day today. So beautiful conditions in the um, in the mid Columbia. We're seeing mid to upper 50s and even some 60s. So that's great to see. We're seeing a little bit cooler in the Blue Mountain region. So lower 50s for the day today in the Blue Mountain region. Take a look at our temps for this evening. We are clearing tonight and cold temperatures around the region, just around the freezing mark for a lot of us. So we're seeing 30 in, uh, L, uh, in Toppenish and in Yakima, 31 for the Tri-Cities, Prosser, Hermiston, 32 for Walla Walla. So cool conditions, but again, we're gonna be warming up. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast because there is sun on the way. Our overnight conditions are popping up from below freezing tonight in Yakima to the 40s by after this weekend. Again, all of that sun is making its way out for some beautiful conditions. Mid to upper 60s this weekend, 70s for next week. 
I am looking forward to that. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast for the Tri-Cities. A lot of sun on the way, 60s up to the 70s by this time next week. Beautiful conditions are on the way. Overnights are popping up about 10 degrees as well. So beautiful conditions on the way. Once these clouds make their way out of the day today, they're not really coming back. On our seven day forecast for Walla Walla, again, we're a little cool today, but once those clouds go away, our temperatures are popping up for Thursday, Friday, heading into the 60s for this weekend, even that 70 for Tuesday. So beautiful conditions on the way today, even more beautiful conditions and warm temperatures on the way for the weekend. Have a fantastic Wednesday. I'll send it back to Jessica. Thank you, Riley. New details are emerging about the whistleblower who raised concerns about quality at Boeing. He was found dead after providing evidence in a lawsuit against the company. Meanwhile, the quality problems plaguing Boeing could now force some airlines to reduce their flight schedules. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest. This morning, new details about this terrifying moment. A door panel blew off an Alaska Airlines plane in mid-flight in January. The airline now confirms the Boeing jet was scheduled to be taken out of service that very night for maintenance. The New York Times reports warning lights had previously alerted the crew to a possible pressurization problem, but the plane continued to be flown for 10 days. Boeing and its supplier Spirit Aerosystems have reportedly failed dozens of FAA audits since that door panel incident. The FAA reportedly observed mechanics at Spirit using a hotel key card to check a door seal, and Spirit mechanics applied Dawn soap to a door seal as lubricant. Most of these problems go back to a failure to follow basic procedures. So this will be what Boeing needs to do. Go back to basics, blocking and tackling, of making sure that the airplanes are built the way that they're designed to be built. Boeing's manufacturing woes are rippling across the industry. Southwest, which only flies Boeing jets, now says it'll stop hiring pilots and flight attendants and may have to reduce flight schedules because of delivery delays from Boeing. United Airlines also imposing a hiring freeze, and Alaska Airlines is warning of possible schedule changes. More than 2,800 Boeing jets are in service nationwide. A recent poll found only 18% of passengers have high confidence that the planes are properly maintained. In response to the concerns, Boeing saying, we are squarely focused on implementing changes to strengthen quality. As difficult and as painful these inspections are for Boeing, they will help them get back to basics to be able to begin to earn the trust of the FAA and the flying public. M1, ABC News, Washington. Again, the former Boeing employee turned whistleblower was found dead in South Carolina over the weekend. The Charleston County Coroner's Office says 62-year-old John Barnett died on March 9th, possibly from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Charleston police are investigating. Bar uh, Barnett worked for Boeing for decades and had raised serious concerns about Boeing's production standards. Lawyers for Barnett said, quote, John was in the midst of a deposition in his whistleblower retaliation case, which finally was nearing the end. They say he was in good spirits and showed no indication that he would take his own life. They're encouraging police to continue his in to investigate his death. And Boeing issued a statement saying it's saddened by Mr. Barnett's passing. And when we return on Good Morning Northwest, there's always a silver lining, right? As a teen wipes out in a major way at a skiing competition and becomes a viral sensation in the process. The $20 taste of KFC meal is six pieces of chicken and these four sides. Mashed potatoes and gravy, some of this, creamy this, and cheesy that. And don't forget the buttery biscuits. All that for 20 bucks. KFC, it's finger licking good. Time for a new roof? Let m and Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. 911, what's your emergency? Our job is a whirlwind. When there's disaster to deal with, who are we? My wife, where is she? Saving the ship. 911 comes to ABC Thursday. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry. I'm giving you fits. 
a water heater that quits. <laughs> In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer, the world's best. Put your water worries to rest. When a rookie stunt driver meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Again. There's bound to be action. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad, so you better act fast. Don't miss your chance to drive away in a new Nissan. Let's roll. Hurry into the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue, or get 2.9% financing for 36 months on Frontier. To see if you qualify for Hanford Worker Compensation, please call Smart Law for a free consultation at 1-877-630-1122. Workers and the families of deceased workers who worked at the Hanford site are now eligible for compensation for diseases and illnesses, including neurological, respiratory and heart conditions, cancers, and beryllium-related disorders. This may be an addition to compensation already being received. Call Smart Law at 1-877-630-1122 for Hanford Worker Compensation. Smart Law in Yakima and Tri-Cities. Prosser Memorial Health board-certified pediatricians Dr. Dennis Moore and Dr. Gary Podeisky care for newborns through age 18 and are now accepting new patients at our Grandview and Prosser Clinic locations. Their services include wellness exams, school and sports physicals, and treatment for common childhood illnesses. To schedule an appointment for your child, call a Prosser Memorial Health Clinic near you or learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. A beautiful flight over an awesome waterfall tonight. Welcome back everyone. Let's take a look close to home in the Kittitas County area. We're seeing sunny and breezy conditions today, mostly in the mid to upper 40s, mid 50s as well. Let's take a look at the Walla Walla Valley. Sunny and clear for the most part. We've got um, mostly those upper 50s hanging out around the Yakima Valley. So beautiful conditions for your day today. In the mid-Columbia, we're seeing upper 50s and lower 60s all across the area. Once those uh, clouds go away, we're mostly beautiful sunny skies. And in the Blue Mountain region, take a look at that 53 in Boardman, 51 Milton Freewater, Prescott 53, 49 Pilot Rock, kind of all over the upper 40s, lower 50s for your day today. Beautiful conditions, a little cloudy, but more sky out tomorrow. Let's go straight into our ski report for today. We're seeing a live look right now out at Schweitzer Mountain. Lots and lots of snow. That is some thick snow out at Schweitzer Mountain. And if we take a look into our ski report, we're going to be seeing no new snow in the last 24 hours, but there is a rain snow mix happening right now at Schweitzer. Our high is 28 today, base depth 58 inches at Schweitzer. Uh, Ski Bluewood is seeing 32 today. No new snow as well. 56 inches for your base depth. And White Pass, we're seeing 32 as well. No new snow in the last 24 hours, but lots of snow at the base. 82 inches of snow. That's a look at your ski report sponsored by Schweitzer Mountain. And speaking of skiing, Riley, this next story is a little, little scary, but also kind of cool. <laughs> so an Idaho teen was at a skiing competition when he wiped out in a major way. He's mostly okay after nearly landing in the seat of a moving chairlift. I know. Well, CNN's Jeannie Moose has more from this viral moment. It was a little like one of those James Bond ski chases, like when 007 skied over a picnic table. <laughs> Only 17-year-old Ivan Jones was just trying to do a move called the Flat Spin 360 when he almost landed on the chairlift. Oh, oh, of course, everyone wanted to know, were you injured? 